This is the Galaxy S22 Ultra. It's big, it's rectangular, it's got an S Pen. It also has weird cameras that pop out of the back. It's just different. But best of all, it comes with a bigger battery than previous Note phones. It's got a 5000 mAh cell. So can it actually set some new battery records? And can it beat the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the Galaxy S21 Ultra? So for this video I thought why not just document a full day of using the S22 Ultra and show you how it performs in real life. Hey good morning everyone, Vic here with Phone Arena. Of course I'll be doing just regular stuff, going grocery shopping, taking some photos and videos of course, testing the camera, trying out the S Pen. This phone is genuinely exciting, it's the first kind of like a note phone in quite a while it looks like a note phone and it feels like a note phone so we'll be testing that so on my home screen here it's a pretty clean setup i used facebook messenger and viber for most of my communication i also check out the gram and facebook throughout the day and i play spotify quite a bit and by the way that new live wallpaper on the s22 ultra it looks really amazing, I just love it. So the first thing after setting up the phone with some apps is for me to just try out the S Pen, to write down a plan of my day. And this new S Pen has a much lower latency than the previous one. But to be honest, you can still notice a tiny bit of delay while writing with it. Now I don't have the prettiest handwriting, that's for sure. And just writing this one note took me like two minutes. So I'm not sure I'll be using the S Pen a lot, but it's a fun little tool anyway. So catching up with social media and just using the phone lightly already cost me about 13% battery and I was down to 87% in just one hour of use. All right, let's go back to the vlog. So next up we're headed grocery shopping. So I used the phone to capture just a few short 4K clips for the vlog here and the quality looks good. I like the dynamic range as I was recording with the ultra wide camera from the car. You can see the blue skies from the windows and it all looks very nice. I do wish however I got an even even wider view with the ultra wide camera here. It's super helpful when you record in smaller spaces, for example here in the car. Okay, after running errands, it was time to head to lunch. All right guys, so quick update on the battery life situation. It's about 1.20 p.m. I've just finished lunch and let me just quickly check. We're at 65% battery life on the S22 Ultra which is looking pretty good. I've been using the phone quite a bit, but right now I'm really excited because I'm gonna take a scooter ride to the city center and capture some video and test that camera, of course, testing the zoom capabilities and everything. Let's get going. So looking back at my use the next day, I have to say that losing 35% of battery in just four hours and a half with light use is actually not really all that good. And at this point, I was starting to have doubts whether the S22 Ultra will actually last me through the day. And I still had planned to test the camera quite a bit, which I know drains the battery even quicker. By the way, look at that good boy watching over the neighborhood from above. Now, I really appreciate having the 10 times zoom camera for photos like this one. The quality is just superb and you cannot get it on any other mainstream phone right now. While we're on the topic of photos, take a look at a few zoomed in shots with the S22 Ultra. It's fun how you can go from the ultra wide to the wide, then zoom once again, then again to 10 times and still get a perfect view of the birds. And then you can go all the way to 30 times and even more. Or check out this other scenery with the skyline of the city. I was so far away, yet zooming in I could see the details in individual buildings. Super impressive and quite addictive, I have to say. Okay, this was a super fun ride, but it was also an opportunity to test the new super steady mode that Samsung says has improved a lot. Super steady, however, is still limited to 1080p video quality and comparing it here side by side to 4K video, you can clearly see that you get a lot more detail with the 4K footage. And yes, super steady is definitely less shaky, but I'm not sure I want to sacrifice the 4K detail just for that. Now also, I gave 8K video recording a try, so just in case you were wondering, just a one minute file of 8K video was about 600 megabytes compared to 350 megabytes for 4K video recording and then just 125 megabytes for the 1080p super steady video. Now I actually expected 8K video to be even shakier but yes it's definitely not as stable as 4K video 
and is cropped in quite significantly too. It's nice having it, but if I would shoot 8K, I would definitely want to put this phone on a gimbal. So at about 2.30 p.m. I had recorded less than 10 minutes of video altogether and I was already down to 44% battery and that was unexpected. I had not even shot any test photos yet, so at this point I was seriously concerned that the phone won't make it to the end of the day. But video recording was definitely draining the battery like crazy. So anyway, I headed down to the beach to hopefully get a better view of that 10 times zoom camera and by the way, spoiler alert, it's so much better compared to the one on the S21 Ultra. But more on that in a video coming very soon. So I shot about 10 more minutes total of video and just look at that sparrow. It just blows my mind how beautiful the colors are and how much detail you get with the S22 Ultra. I'm really impressed with the 10x zoom camera. If I didn't have a 10x zoom here, it would be impossible to capture these little guys. They get scared the moment you come closer, but 10x zoom? were just perfect for such incredible shots, so really, really love that camera. So all of that was fun, but with my battery draining really quickly, I had to check up on it once again, and the clock is showing 3.15 p.m., and I only have 34% battery left, so it was time to head back home. All right, guys, so I'm finally back home after taking some pictures and taking a walk outside, and it's about 6 p.m. right now, and the Galaxy S22 Ultra is already at 10%, which I feel is dangerously close to it being completely drained, and I actually want to use it to, to take some more videos at night, so I'll have to top it up. So a few comments on my battery use here. In the battery stats, you can see that the camera indeed consisted the majority of the battery drain. For 42 minutes of taking photos and shooting videos, it drained nearly 18% of the battery. Now the second app that contributed the most to the battery drain is Spotify, which I played in the background and it drained an additional 6% of battery. Instagram and Facebook each drained around 5% and another messaging app Viber drained nearly 3.5%. Interestingly, Google Play services drained a significant amount of battery as well. I had to download a few apps while setting up the phone, so that's the likely culprit here. And for the total screen on time, what I got is just 2 hours and 57 minutes, so about 3 hours, which is definitely not great. Hopefully an update comes sooner to fix that as currently this kind of battery drain was definitely unexpected. So I'll download the photos and videos I took so you can see them in the actual uh, video. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll have to top up the phone and thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.